Hey everybody, this is Tristan from Survival World and today's tutorial in our Survival Knot series is on the Carrick Bend. It's also called the Josephine Knot or the Sailor's Breastplate. It's a very popular knot used at sea and it's used for joining any two ropes together. It's most effectively used with large rope but it can be used for any size of rope like this paracord here. The Carrick Bend is a really strong, easy, and also very visually pleasing knot. Like, that looks good. And it won't slip, so let's dive in on how to tie this knot. To start off our Carrick Bend here, we're just going to create a nice overhand loop. Keep it pretty near the end of the rope so you don't have a ton to waste. Now with your second rope here that you're trying to join, we're going to just stick it through that loop we just made, and it should just split everything in half. Now with the second rope that we're just uh, we inserted through from the top going to the bottom of our loop right here, we're going to put it over our other end of the rope. We're going to stick it through the bottom of our loop, over itself, and through the other side of the loop. Now all we have to do is grab all four strings and pull our carrick bend tight. I'll show you guys that again a little bit faster. So what we're going to do. We're going to get our right side of our string here, and we're just going to create a nice quick overhand loop. Now what we're going to do with our uh, second rope here, we're going to take it, we're going to stick it through that loop from the top. We're going to wrap it around over our uh, other end here, stick it up through the loop, through the bottom of this loop, over the string in the middle, and then through the bottom of the other side of the loop again, and we're just going to pull that tight. So yeah, that's how you tie the Carrick Bend knot. Make sure to drop a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And check out our playlist is going to pop up right here with more tutorials on how to tie knots. Thanks for watching.